Some new developments in the case on Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell. Tara Palmieri, she's a former ABC News reporter. She hosts the Broken Jeffrey Epstein podcast. She was on a British radio show yesterday to talk about Ghislaine Maxwell. She was asked not to mention Prince Andrew because it was, quote, legally hot. Hmm. Now, look, we should be clear. This is because British libel laws are extraordinarily strong, very different than here in the United States. Just very interesting who these British libel laws happen to protect, the royals, you know, shocking them. And it just... I wonder if she went ahead and mentioned him. It's amazing <laughs> to me about how much protection this man receives in his home country just because he's a prince. It's like a caricature. I mean, he cavorted with a known sex trafficker for decades, was best friends with her, hung out with Epstein, credibly accused of rape and sexual assault by one of Jeffrey Epstein's victims. And it's like nobody talks about it. Some of the tabloids yeah. will go after it. He has this disastrous BBC interview. But the libel laws in the UK are such that the press is basically afraid. And as we know, the royals go out of their way to protect Andrew. They killed that ABC News story yeah. with Amy Robach and made it. They're like, oh, you want to interview with Will and Kate? Ain't going to happen well, if you report this. Say. They they know how to flex. You think everybody, I, I know some British reporters. You think that Buckingham Palace doesn't play hardball whenever they, when you're about to report something which hurts them? Of they course they do. do. Yeah. Of course they do. That's what I was going to say. Is yeah. he's not just being protected in his home country? Like you can Here. only imagine. Yeah. Like they're so worried about their access to a Will and Kate interview that they'll kill a story here. You can only imagine the pressure mm -hmm. that every single British journalist and media outlet is under not to say a word about Prince Andrew or any of this. So very revealing I mean, comment there. Right now, turn on the TV. You see anything about Epstein? Maybe a five-minute thing about Galen. Maxwell on like whether she's going to plead. And to that end, actually, this was a big deal. So Ellen Powell, she's the former CEO of Reddit. She tweeted out yesterday, or I believe the day before, that she was at a Kleiner Perkins holiday party in 2011. So let's keep this tweet up there on the screen. But Kleiner Perkins is one of the largest venture capital firms in Silicon Valley. Huge. She says that Ghislaine Maxwell was at their holiday party in 2011. She had no desire to meet her, much less have a photo taken with her, because, quote, we knew about her supplying underage girls for sex, but I guess it was fine with the cool people who managed the tightly controlled guest list. Now that is a bombshell admission that she's basically saying that high level individuals at Kleiner Perkins and financiers knew that Ghislaine Maxwell right. almost 10 years ago was involved in sex trafficking and didn't do anything about it. And here's the crazier part. According to Lachlan Market, she then locked her Twitter account after all of this happened. She made her account private, but addressed it in some follow-up tweets, saying, to be clear, the press had described her as supplying girls, but had not been charged. So it would be more accurate to say, quote, we suspected mm. versus we knew, but... If you suspect, I mean, would you invite a known sex trafficker like Ghislaine Maxwell to your party? And she says some people there were. So she's basically confirming that people at the highest levels of power, again, some of the most wealthy financiers in Silicon Valley, were completely fine with the presence of a known sex trafficker or a suspected sex trafficker. That is disgusting, but just another peek behind the curtain about how they used to get away with so much. I mean, the amount of knowledge that she has in her head about the business business dealings and about the amount of powerful people which have been blackmailed by Epstein is just unbelievable. She knows yeah. absolutely everything. And look, this is another one of those things where it's not a surprise, right? After Epstein was convicted. Mm -hmm. 2005. He was right. still, I mean, this is far, this is years after he was convicted and her association with him was very well known. Like, this is not a secret. Right. And it, not just her, like Epstein directly, Bill Gates and I are still happy to hang out and still at an office, you know, and it was still like fully enmeshed in New York and Florida fancy elite lifestyle with a lot of people knowing what was going on and just kind of looking the other way. And it's not just this. I mean, this is like a, a weird human or elite instinct to protect their own, to not rock the boat, to yeah. not ruffle feathers. How many allegations of sexual assault and other Me Too allegations came out where so many people said, yeah, we kind of knew. Mm -hmm. Like, the rumors were everybody knew, right? Everybody Harvey knew Weinstein. Harvey everybody Weinstein, knew, yeah. but nobody Who was said friends anything. with Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's and the, the, that's the other thing. It's like yeah. all the places that these people turn up and the photos that they Kevin turn Spacey up in. Kevin Spacey, yesterday. Yeah. 
We're all sitting on the same throne with Ghislaine Maxwell. I really loved the, yeah. uh, the, did you see the story? Fox yeah. News had this photo that they ran oh, that they of, cropped of out. Epstein. And you can see he's got his arm around yeah. um, the first lady, right, Melania. Melania right. that she, you know, it's kind of hard to tell that it's her. And then they crop out Donald yeah. Trump. And they say they apologized for the yeah. error. I'm sure it's just a harmless <laughs> mistake. But again, this guy crop popped up with everybody in high society. Trump. Clinton, you can't Kevin Spacey, yeah. so many people, and you know that they're going to invite the Ghislaine Maxwell's get invited to the Kleiner Perkins party is no surprise, yeah. but just one more piece Look, of the puzzle. You're just a hardison hack if you only talk about the Clintons and you don't talk about the Trumps, and you're just even you know, a Hollywood hack if you only talk about the financiers, and you're a finance hack if you only talk about the Hollywood thing, and then the Silicon Valley, same thing. That's the whole point of the story. They were everywhere. Yeah. Bill Gates and everybody Elon looked Musk, the other way. Everybody. I mean, I'm not saying that they knew, but they were ingratiated themselves into all these what and Elon has a good point why was she at the Vanity Fair party in 2012 I mean that's one of the most exclusive parties in the world she just happens to be there and oh she's got this prince who just loves her we were both reading that uh, that Vanity Fair profile yeah. on Blaine Maxwell she was at Buckingham Palace in June 2019 that was less than almost a year ago wow. one year and one month ago at Buckingham Palace participating in an official event with a bunch of celebrities that is after Epstein and all these people have been charged. She's shunting around world to world. I yesterday covered how she has got long-standing intelligence ties, just like her father apparently did. Former Israeli prime minister is involved here. This thing goes deep, and it's just every single time we get a nugget like this, you're just like, wow, I can't believe it. Just a peek behind the curtain, peek behind the yeah. curtain, and we're just waiting for more. You know, so. I, I, we did that interview with the documentarian yes. who, um, who at that time, Maxwell had not been apprehended. Yeah, no, no idea. And she was. was like, I'm optimistic, and yeah. we're like, eh. yeah. I was like, yeah, sure. But yeah. here we are, and you know, as you covered yesterday in your radar, which people should go and check out, which has some of the latest developments as well. Look, there's a real possibility she's going to start singing about at least some people mm -hmm. to try to get herself a reduced sentence and out of some yeah. of the hot water I mean, that she's in. Right now, facing 35 years in prison, that's just in the 1990s charges. We can add all the F. Sorry, add, yeah. someone who's been living that high lifestyle. You think they're ready for she's that? She's not ready for that. So. We'll All right, more rising for you after this.